guys, it's Tenzin. I'm back with another video for OpenMRS, which is a tool for medical record systems. This video is going to show you how to install the new OpenMRS cohort module, and this will take three simple steps. The first is to make sure you have OpenMRS installed and running, and if you haven't done that already, check out my video for the installation of standalone version. The second is to make sure you have downloaded the cohort module from GitHub, and then the last step is to download the HTML form entry and the REST web services module, that I am, and I'll provide all the links down in the description below to download these modules. So let's begin. Alright, so here I am at the GitHub link to download the OpenMRS cohort module, and as you can see I'm just going to download the zip folder of it, and later um, extract that file. So now go on to your command prompt and type in cd openmrs module dash cohort and type in mvn clean install. So if you get the same message that I did, then you have successfully installed the new cohort module. And if you can't find this, um, find the .omod file for that, just, just search up .omod and then go ahead and open file location and as you can see I'm just locating where my file is and then just copy that file and put it down onto your desktop for easier navigation. So as you can see I've done that and when you go on to that file then you'll find the OMOD file. So now here is the HTML form entry that I'm downloading and then the REST web services module that I'm downloading as well from the link. These are the two modules that you will need for uh, for the cohort module to work. And a quick suggestion is to copy and paste all the downloads you have just done into one big file for easier navigation. All right, so now now log in to OpenMRS and then go on to System Administration and then Advanced Administration. And right under modules, click manage modules. So here we are going to be adding the new modules we have just downloaded. So click add or upgrade module, choose file, and then, then upload each uh, module that we've just done. So as you can see, I'm doing the HTML form entry. And now you'll have to do the same thing for Cohort 2.0 module. Open and upload. And also do the same thing for the HTML form entry, but, but I've already done that, so. And then you'll get the message that says you've successfully installed it. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Leave any comments or questions in the comments below.